Bed bugs are an annoying problem that has made a comeback in recent years. Dr. Mark Feldlofer with USDA's Agricultural Research Service in Beltsville, Maryland, says bed bugs can infest any place people live. When the person goes to sleep, they will come out. Their bite is usually painless, so you will not feel them. They can suck blood, finish their blood meal in five to eight minutes, and then they aggregate or they stay together in these very difficult to find cracks and crevices. And this makes them hard to get at with chemicals. The problem with spraying is that because bed bugs are cryptic, they hide, it's important to treat all of the hiding areas. So if you treat most of the hiding areas but do not treat some of the other ones, you will still have bed bugs. To help control them, Dr. Feldlofer is researching alarm pheromones that bed bugs secrete when panicked and cause them to run around. Perhaps if you were to go in either beforehand or at the same time with alarm pheromone, you would get movement of the bed bugs and dispersal and they would be more amenable to coming into direct contact with the chemical. He is also researching a fungus that is often fatal to bed bugs. Right now we're seeing either by direct application to the bed bug or if we treat a surface and let the bed bug crawl over the treated surface, we're seeing mortality or efficacy in the 50 to 60 percent range. Evidence of bed bug infestation can be bites, spotting from their defecation, and their shed skins. They can be transported in luggage, clothing, and used furniture. Once an infestation has been confirmed, Feldlofer recommends contacting professional pest management. In Beltsville, Maryland, I'm Bob Ellison for the U.S. Department of Agriculture.